Hello, my name is Raina and this is my real life. I'm coming on here today to talk about what has changed with my hair. Also, I went to the thrift store. I got some things that I want to show you guys. Um, for those who are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Those who have viewed my channel before and subscribed, I appreciate you very much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. I'll be trying to upload one to two times a week. I set the bar kind of high on a previous video. Um, definitely thank you guys so much for stopping by. So uh, to start, basically what has changed so far um, if you can see my locks are dropping all right so just showing you basically what my locks are looking like right now since I have cut off the ends where um, when my hair continued to unravel I basically braided the ends and these are micro twists that are now maturing into locks so initially they were twists and I started interlocking them um, after one week so as they were unraveling, I would braid them down at the end and I would also tie a knot. So those ends I clipped off because they became very, very firm, very, very thin. So where my hair looks thick, you would see these very thin ends. And I'm going to try to find one for you so you'll know what I'm talking about. Because I, I know I haven't cut off every single one. But I did try. So something like this. If you can see that. Where it has the thin end. But it would be longer than that piece. So I kind of cut those off. So you'll look at what my hair looks like now. So they are thick. I still have a lot of volume.
I trimmed my ends that were unraveling. I cut those off. I am 13 months. Um, some of them I cut a lot earlier on um, towards the front. The main ones I cut this time were towards the back. Um, the reason why I didn't have to bother with the ones in the front this time is because I've combined a lot of locks on the sides of my head. So with those being combined, let's see. This one right here is a combined lock, which is why it's stretched so long. So the end of my hair would basically um, be very thin, very, very thin because I braided that part. So this is twisted down, so it's not going to get the same effect. I'm not going to bother with this one. Um, as I did before with the unraveling so a lot of my ends are still curly I'm not bothered by that at all I do condition um, I have never been consistent with conditioning I stopped conditioning because of the unraveling and because of my fine hair in the top and that was around um, between the third and the sixth month I was kind of off and on because my hair would my hair is very wiry wiry meaning that it's very coarse to the touch and it's not all over my head but like my sides and my back definitely those areas are um, the coarse regions more so the sides than anything the top of my hair is very fine it's gonna take this portion the longest to lock um, but for the most part, that's what's changed. I do still condition. I have been conditioning since I want to say my seventh or eighth month. I had stopped at my sixth month because I was kind of back and forth trying to figure it out because I didn't want the unraveling. So if you have different textures in your hair or some of your hair is fine, it may be best not to condition or not to condition that area. Um, but yeah, so that is basically what's going on with my locks and I have combined a lot of them as I told you before I will not be counting my locks I do not count my locks anymore I did start out with 339 just in case you're curious I do have very thick hair very dense hair very coarse hair um, in the majority of the areas let's say that right um, if you want to put a type to it for B something like that um, for a towards the top something like that um, maybe even 3b in the top because it's weird um, it's very it's much so more straight and let's see what else have I changed oh I did get the the lock jewelry um, I not lock jewelry I actually went to Michael's and bought some jewelry and put them on my locks. Um, these are, I want to say four, four millimeters. Some are four and some are six. So six or eight. But I will show you those in a in a different um, video. So yeah, I put the locks, the jewelry in my hair and I do like it I did like the other ones as well which were the regular beads but um, even though my hair is not mature those of you out there if your locks are not mature be careful with putting on lock jewelry you can damage your locks with some of this jewelry that they have out here um, if it's not particularly beads if they have like a jump ring now I do have jump rings on my hair from Michaels because I was so thirsty to get something on my hair, I did buy some jump rings, which if you are not familiar with what jump rings are, they're basically um, little circle pieces that you connect jewelry with. So if you're making like necklaces or bracelets, you would use jump rings. I'm trying to find like this one here. So there's a jump ring on there 
and they did not snag my hair. There is an opening piece, but they did not snag my hair. I wasn't worried about it. I went ahead and slid them on on different locks um, where I wanted to place them. And that's what I did with the Michaels jewelry um, that I purchased. I think they were like $4.99 for, for uh, actually the jump rings were three like $3.98 or something like that and then the lock jewelry was actually like $4.99 or $6.99 um, I can definitely get the little part that it came on and tell you the actual amount so they are heavy but if your hair is thick as mine it's not going to really matter it does help with um, if you're wanting your locks to drop a bit it does cause them to feel as if they drop um, so I have some beads here and it says 34, 34 pieces so I don't believe it was 34 pieces, could have been, could have been 34 pieces, it says 34 pieces. So I had um, 4.5 inch and 11.4 centimeters so it did have millimeters on here, I'm not finding it. But anyway, these are the smaller ones that I put on the side of my head. Sorry. And these are the bigger ones. And this is the regular bead that I had on there before. So, um, basically I've seen, um, Kendra Kinche. Um, I saw her with some very small millimeter beads and they were sold out. So again, I said I was thirsty. I just went ahead and went to Michael's and just got me some jewelry and put those in my hair. Hope you like them. Um, if you do, just comment. Let me know if you like them or not. Um, I appreciate your comments. Again, like, share, and subscribe. Um, so we'll be moving on now from my locks to what I got at the thrift store today. So I went to a thrift store in Powder Springs, the Goodwill in Powder Springs, and they had a very, very good selection. I, I went and purchased some and got out of line and went and purchased some more. So this is a jumper. This is a jumper that I thought was cute and it's long like palazzo pants. Very cute. And I also purchased this So it's sparkly, you can see the sparkles, and then it's also see-through in that area. So it's just a, um, my husband called them dashikis, I can't remember <laughs> what it's actually called, but I love these and I have so many different colors, styles of these. And then I have this jacket. Put a little drawstring in here to kind of pull it in the back. Jules and Leopold. And that was brand new. That was brand new. That still had the tag on there, the Jules and Leopold tag. I actually, it still had the tag on there. I threw the, um, the price tag away. But this is a Madden NYC jacket with the fold up sleeves that snap. I always love a good jacket with the hood. Then it got a little, little dip in the back. I love that too. And then I got this cute shirt here for the summertime with the drawstring at the bottom. Of course, this was half price because it's for the summer. 
So guys, I know you've been told this million of times, but you shop for your winter clothes in the summer and your summer clothes in the winter. That way you get your, your items on sale. But you're saving even more when you're going to the thrift store. So um, this is my outfit of the day. I'm going to show you what I had on. I had on my boots and I'm going to add my vest that I had on as well. I got these pants too. With the pockets and a little drawstring. I thought these were cute. So this is what I wore to the thrift store. Cute little vest, little cargo vest with the pockets. Stretch pants and I had on some boots. I had on these Roxy boots. So cute with the pockets on the side, zipper in the back. So if you cannot see, it does have like a jean type tongue. And I like to wear them, just keep them open like that. So that's why I have them tied in the back. And I thought this is a cute combat boot. I got these from the thrift store. I put them in my hand, never put them down until I got ready to leave. I bought these maybe two years ago when we first moved into this house. So these boots are almost two years old and they have probably been worn four or five times. All right, so, um, so for the motivational part of my video, just if you are um, excited about doing YouTube um, just do it for the sole purpose of an outlet um, that's what I'm doing it for you will find your purpose here you will find your purpose in your own little spot on on the internet um, definitely do not try to be like anyone else it's your channel it's your content and it's what you want to build it's all about you and branding yourself so um, with that being said, do not get frustrated um, with your content because it's not like someone else's. That's kind of some things that had me bound with what I wanted to put out here. But now I know what I want to do and I'm going to do what I like to do. Again, thanks again for stopping by. Welcome to everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you. Bye.